I uh, want to make a quick video here just on the if function in Excel. So we're going to move into one cell here and uh, create an if function. It's, um, yeah, shouldn't take very long. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that anybody that gets more, that has my, more than $50 as a donation, they get a free gift. Otherwise, nothing happens. So we start off as we do with all formula with an equal, equal if, and then we open a bracket and then it tells us what to do. So we need to say, what is the logical test? And we see that that is bolded at the moment. So we have to say, what's going to happen? Uh, how are we going to test to see what we're going to do? And so what we're going to do is we're going to test to see if the donation, so I'm going to move over to the donation. We're going to test to see if the donation is bigger than 50. And if it's bigger than 50, that would be if the value is true. Now, notice that these are separated by commas. So we do have this big hint coming up down below us to tell us how to do this, right? So if it's bigger than 50, then the true value, see how it's highlighting the true? What are we going to do if it's true? We're going to we're going to give them a free gift. My well, free gift is a um, text. So I put that into quotes, free gift. And that's what we got for the true. Now, when I put the comma, for the false, then we can put the false, and the false is nothing. So that's going to be an empty cell, but it's going to be an empty cell of text, so I put quotes. And this will be a free gift. I can copy that formula down, and it will work by relative addressing. You'll see that here we're talking about G2. When I copy it down to the next cell, that'll be for uh, G3. And so, so we see there's no free gift for G3. And we could copy that down to all of those and we'd see that some get a free gift and some don't. All right, so that's kind of, eh. Right, that's the exercise. But let's make it a little bit more fun. We can actually do a lot more in here, right? So, for example, if they didn't have more than 50, we don't just have to have nothing. We could actually put another if statement in there. So we can say, well, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say, well, if they didn't make more than 50, but they did make more than 30, then we're going to give them not a free gift, but maybe we'll give them a thank you card or something. And then again, if so, again, I've, I've actually put into the false part of it, I put in another if and uh, with another test. And uh, we're going to give them this is the true value. Now I need to put the false. The false value will, uh, well, nothing. And uh, so when I make it as a typing error it, it's, it's going to make I, I missed one uh, bracket at the end <laughs> do that all the time but it fixed it for me so when I copy that down everybody who got more than 30 but didn't get more than 50 is going to get a thank you card apparently yeah and so that's what we've done there Okay, and, to, and we can continue on with those. We can do things in the in the um, in the uh, true part of it as well. But I, I just wanted to show you, it's not just a sort of a simple thing. We could actually, it's like computer programming. You could have lots of nested ifs in there. You can nest in the trues. You can nest in the falses. It's really, it can be a lot of fun. Um, the computer programming that you've learned uh, in other in other classes, or that you're going to learn in other classes. Uh, can be applied into the um, into the Excel. So, in this particular thing, Excel is kind of like a programming language. You got branching, which you can do. So that's kind of cool. I like that.